right, babies. It's that time again. Oh, yeah. We are in complete darkness. <laughs> So what else is new, right? This is what it looks like at 5.55 in the morning in the Northeast. Uh, we're doing the Gospel according to Frank again. I almost jumped into the Book of Acts. Let's see if I could glean something different the second time around. So I like to balance my inquiries into the Bible, into historical, well, yeah, in quotes, historical uh, books of the Old Testament as well as the New. Uh, Evidently, there's some kind of discrepancy between Paul's writings of his activities uh, with what is described in the book of Acts. So, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. What I do know is we can focus in on what works for us and that is what I call knowledge. Yeah, baby. If your whole life it's been working for you, yeah. You can bet on it, honey. Especially when you're trusting Jesus for it. Oh, yeah. In fact, in fact speaking of knowledge... Uh, I'm not sure where it is in the Gospels, but it says eternal life is to know God and whom he has sent. That that itself is knowledge. And I, I find that to be very encouraging and life producing so I aim to know him and not so much what people say about him and I let him reveal to me who exactly he is I say who, I also mean how. How he is. Oh yeah, baby. Because if you look too much in the Bible, you, you're going to be afraid of uh, all kinds of things. Because you'll see your behavior is not matching. <laughs> but Jesus came to set us free, so you could bank on that. So yesterday, I had a, a good day at work. Um, kept looking for ways that I could be found useful. And sometimes what the, the students will say to me is just so sweet. Or they'll look at me in a certain way that's just really endearing. So we just resonate on that kind of vibe, don't we? Of course. We all want positive attention. Goodness gracious, people. We just want it to be good positive attention and not bad positive attention. That being giving you attention because I like the gossip you're telling me. Or... 
giving you attention because in some distracted area that's somehow entertaining. <laughs> no, we want to focus on the things that are building life and growth and new levels of character, of love, joy, peace, holiness, courage, creativity, kindness. Oh yeah, baby. That's who we are, and that's what we do. Why? Jesus is in us. Hello. We really can't help ourselves. <laughs> it's, really, it's really what it comes down to. And God's faithfulness is such that he's not going to leave us alone even when we're flopping on the shore like a, a dying fish. And boy, he knows that's uh, that's happened. And I'm just thankful that we're able to have his spirit just ignite us as long as we put our attention and intention in his direction. Oh yeah, baby. This is a marriage that's better than anything you're experiencing. Oh yeah. No disrespect to your marriage, but this one's better. No question about it. So what can we say? Oh, here's one that's always, always a good one. What you don't want to do is quite often what you need to do. Oh yeah, buddy. Did you ever notice that? The responsible thing to do is to build. Building takes effort. Quite often it takes sacrifice. So if you're just focused in on your your pleasure meter you're going to be trying to avoid it but it's quite often I find exactly what I need to do and when I do it more often than not I experience joy and freedom because I'm doing it and it's actually producing energy and life it's sort of this momentum to do more whereas if I resist it procrastinate then it just ends up being you know this endless cycle of trying to come up with more and more pleasurable activities to mask the void you're feeling of not doing that thing that you really should be doing. So there it is, people. Do the thing you don't want to do because what you'll find is it really is the thing you want to do. Oh, yeah.